this is a plastic dancer okay so this is supposed to be the world so this is the world as you can see so that is the world okay and this is the parent metal so you see the way it is so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try to pull it as we do for normal metallic tensors and then we're gonna get our results and we're gonna see the difference uh first first i can show you how this other one looks like so you can see it's too elastic that check out how it next so it's next and then the next thing is we don't need much of a graph what we can do we can just stop the machine and get the result as for plastic tensors we more focused on the maximum load and sometimes the yield so the maximum load is what we more focused on as you can see so that is the world we call it the fusion so that is the world and here is the parent metal both sides okay so then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start this the test and we're gonna see how this will be done then i'll load my sample i'm gonna hold my sample so check here i'm gonna try to hold it so once i hold it what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start with the pulling so here i'll show you how to start so i'm starting so i'm starting so there we go so here we can see my graph is starting here so there is my graph we still in the elastic part even though the plastic is too elastic yeah so then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you how the sample itself looks like so here is the sample itself i'm gonna take on the profile side so that you can see how it's making or when it's gonna make okay so check there how it's going So checking out going and uh, you can see it gone average 14.39 kilo newton maximum force so far so that is the highest and if you come here you can see that it starts to make here okay it starts to make here you know get yeah, that one closer how it's making you see how it's making there okay you see that check you see there can you see there so i think i might as well stop the pulling so i might as well stop the test because i've reached my maximum load check out my graph you know I've reached my maximum load then and here yeah, it's just gonna be constant it won't help me that much if you check out God it's just going and going and going just going and going and all going it can even take a hour you know? it can even take a hour depending on what kind of plastic we put in here oh sure that is right here that is this one take long there you go yeah there you go and this is how my graph looks like. I'm gonna stop it here and then get my results and capture it in my database. Okay. So this now is Dancer, which is just a full parent metal, yeah. So there's no world on it, so we're gonna do the same thing that we did the first time with uh, the one with uh, the world. So, first, I'm gonna have to grab my sample in my tensor machine, then from there, we'll check the rest. So, I'm going to grab this one, yeah. Okay, I'm going to grab it now. There you go. 
and from here we're gonna start with our text right so check there is my graph starting there's my graph starting here we go it's going Going. It's going and going and going. I'm reaching thirteen point seven nine eight nine fourteen. <laughs> so we keep on going on the load. So now I think I've reached the maximum load. Because now I think it's gonna be declining. Now it's declining. I have stopped there which means I'm no longer growing in terms of loads so the sample can't take more than that you know and, uh, so all I can do since I don't need much just need a maximum load and stuff like that so yeah you can see that the sample is kind of reducing in terms of size but you can you know see that's going to make the you, know, you can see it from here can predict it. See, it's making already. Yeah, it's making there already. And uh, we didn't need this, but we can just, you know, for experiment's sake, just look at it and see how it goes. For people who don't, who don't know how the plastic tensile behaves when it's under this at least, you know. So there it's making, yeah, it's making, right? And uh, if you can look at my graph here, so my graph is going down, so the load is almost constant, it's just going down a straight line. And then what I'm gonna do is, since I don't need much of, of that, you can see, then I'm just going to stop and carry on with the test. much how my graphs looks like okay it's pretty much how my graph looks like and uh check here there you go so it's broke there i left it pull until it breaks okay and uh check this one since i was more concerned about of about all of my maximum loads so the previous graphs i just laid them once they reach the maximum load and start declining the load and then i'll start i'll stop the test but in this case in this case i let it go until the load you know declined completely to reach the zero bar okay so this is how it looks like okay yeah this is how it looks like. 